Hello and welcome to Kitagya Gyan with me, Sahil Jagtiani, where we talk about all things related to the Indian Kitagya scene. And today's episode will be about Berenja Petal, lots of Berenja Petal. <laughs> <laughs> it's like set fresh. So before we go ahead with that, make sure you click the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. You know, it's like that uh, disclaimer, you know, and they go blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So today I am joined by Raghu. Hi Raghu, how are you doing? Aha. Are you good? Ish been, are you good? Ish been good. Ish been good. Oh. Uh, yes, yes, I yeah, like, yeah, I like. Yeah. It's not 999, it's yes, yes, yes. You know? Yes, oh. Yes. oh. You know, I had this I had this geography teacher, you know, she would always be I don't know why, she was from Bombay and she would always go, yes, yes, yes. And I, one day I asked her, I said, Are you from Germany? Are you Deutschland? Deutschlander? She, Did she said say nine. She... she said nine, and I said, "Okay, someone's been watching a lot of German movies." Yeah. Anyway, uh, back to our Berenger. German pedals, but actually made in China. You know, they have their own city, uh -huh. Berenger City. I didn't know this. And uh, that's why they get their pedals and their products so cheap because the component manufacturers are right next to each other in oh, the wow. same city. That's amazing. And uh, you know, the Chinese government supports them, mm -hmm. so it's it's like possible for them to beat every single you know uh, competitor in terms of the price and the I mean, quality it's integrated city that does Super, everything they, I mean, right? it's huge and it's not just only pedals it's also you know they audio products yeah. you know components they for most lights. manufacturers yeah i mean they have lights they have uh, I, i'm sure they even do guitars if you dig deep enough i mean a lot of the pedal components are also made there so it's pretty easy for them to yeah. make their own pedals yeah, you know so now what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to play a, a loop uh, mm -hmm. using the TC electronic uh, pedal uh, Raghu is going to play something into yeah. that using position 2 and position 4 because we've been doing neck and neck bridge and the whole, the whole time yeah. so I thought we'll just uh, you know make it a little bit more spice fresh spice it up spice it up spice it up spice it yeah 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 and uh, then basically uh, you know go into uh, the hot rod deluxe yes um, um, well, are we going to keep uh, unity uh, level I think no? we should maintain unity again because again these are very uh, vast array of pedals yeah so, so we'll do our best to keep everything at the same level like at center point mm -hmm. in case something is superbly loud yeah i'm expecting either this or this one yes. to go superbly loud yes, because they're tube amp models so, so in I'm case guessing. it does then mm -hmm. uh, you know we'll probably cut it to a point where it's uh, off the same uh, level, yeah, you know, as a clean uh, signal, as a clean signal. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, let's start off with uh, position four. Let's get to it. Thank you. 
All right, that was position four. Now let's get to position two and have some fun with a loop. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Okay, so those were both positions. Now, what you didn't see was mm -hmm. the boost in mm -hmm. the super fast SF300 because it's S loud. It's so loud that it scared me, like it's, uh, it's sitting in me. front of the amp. So uh, he got scared and he was like, no, don't do it, don't, don't do it. it. So what we did was we did record it. Um, we uh, did use all the three uh, settings, mm -hmm. but uh, there's such a vast, vast. threshold difference. Oh, man. It's crazy. So I mean, we're going to show you now a bit of uh, the second fuzz setting going into the boost, the clean boost at full volume, okay? It's, it makes that Hot Rod Deluxe like scream. Yeah, yeah, and you know? the Hot Rod Deluxe is running at one, by the way. 1.52. Okay, 1.52, yeah. yeah. But still, I mean, it's, it's loud. That was, that was like, my neighbors would be like, you know, coming with pitchforks, you know, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, kind of a thing. So we're gonna show you now that playthrough, enjoy it. So those were the tones of each and every single Behringer pedal. Petal. I liked each pedal a yeah. lot. Good value for money. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So now this uh, Maxon, I mean the Tube Screamer, I mean the TO800 is a nice tube. It's a nice uh, pusher. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's nice. a nice it's pusher. It's cute. quite nice. And for the kind of money that it uh, demands, it's, it's yeah, yeah. I mean, it's quite it, right? transparent. It's quite glassy also. So it's, it's really nice. It was interesting. Nice. I mean, a beginner starting up with a tube amp, mm -hmm. get it. Get Cheap, it. nice, Cheap, nice yep. worth it. Okay, this one, neck position. Uh, uh, position two, very nice, very uh, jumpy, very mm. like twangy, nice country sounding. Yeah, I mean, uh, okay, okay, not bad. It's not bad. Nice. Not my favorite pedal, not bad. Mm -hmm. I don't uh, know what that was. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, I'll just say yeah. Just, just leave it. This yeah. It's just confused um, both of us. I really? Think. Okay, okay, okay. Types. Not nothing. Yeah. Nothing fantastic. I like this. Yes. I like this a this lot. Is, yes. This is like a push up from the metal zone, if you yes. ask me. Like yes. It's a yes. metal zone with more. Maybe, of a scope. maybe this might be a Waza Craft style metal zone mm -hmm. or something nice. We'll try. It was good. We'll we'll see. I we'll I like the amount of gain on it. The compression was decent. Yeah. Um, worth it. This I don't think we did justice to it because, yeah, because literally it didn't sound that great. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, honestly, going straight in the front of an amp, maybe not the best place to put it. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe this is a nice uh, preamp. Yes, so we're going to use it as a preamp and see if we can get better tones from it. It went fuzzy, but... Yeah, that's the, that's the strange part, it right? Went really fuzzy. It went really fuzzy, especially at like gain levels beyond this, you could actually hear yeah, the I mean, uh, yeah. breaking of the yeah. tube itself, right? Yeah, I think this can be used as a fuzz pedal also. I'm and can you imagine this into this? Oh yes, that, I'm sure oh, it is. It'll mm. be fully fuzzy. Nice. Very fuzzy. This one, um, now it was loud. So we did cut the yes, level. Yes, we did cut the uh, level I think we just yes. left it at a quarter. I think a quarter, yeah. That was, yeah, so uh, that was good. I, I liked the sounds. Mm -hmm. I think I think for the, the amount of money that you spend on it, yeah. it's it's great it's because you're getting a, a, a again this again should could be a pedal that we could try as a preamp. I mean, could it go straight to the front Into of the house? Into the front of house, exactly. So I mean, it's got a mic uh, yeah, placement. Yeah, it's got a mic placement. It's got a mod. What mod basically? Whether it's a clean amp yeah. or a high gain amp. I mean, amp. I would love to see uh, this pedal and other tube modelers. Yeah. You know, in uh, competition with each other or side by side. So this and the Sans amp. Sans uh, amp, exactly. Maybe even the Iridium Strymon, maybe. if you're listening, you know what we want. Yes. But uh, getting those three, one into uh, an effects loop. Yeah. You know, uh, very curious return, to see. Yeah. Or maybe even into a power amp, a modeler. Mm -hmm. You know, um, like uh, what do you call it? Like um, possibly uh, your wall of sound. Yeah. Uh, on your computer, or you know, uh, some other option. Let's see. Yeah, or maybe I mean, straight into the DAW and see how that sounds. Yeah. I mean, this you know? should yeah. be interesting. I'm very curious about this guy. That fellow. Sure. This fellow is. Um, okay, I, I tell you. I didn't like the fuzz. I didn't like the fuzz. I, I love the boost. The boost is loud. Yeah, it's loud. It's I love loud. It. I mean, just for the boost alone, uh -huh. it's worth it. If you're a clean player and yeah. you need a clean boost, this is the pedal to buy. That's the pedal to buy, man. I mean, it's it's the strangest combination, right? It's like very imagine weird. having toothpaste and ice cream. Yeah. It's fuzz and a clean boost, boost. in one. And pedal. that was a good boost. It wasn't yeah, a bad a really boost nice at all. Boost, yeah. Very nice clean boost. Yes. 
Um, uh, but yeah. this, I think, is my second or the third favorite pedal, the Heavy, heavy distortion. distortion. Yeah, it was good. So, yeah, it was nice because you had a gain boost and a distortion level. Yes, yes, absolutely. So you could so you could get the highs and the mids exactly. also. Exactly. Up, yeah. So it was exactly. really nice to play with this one. It really sounded really. So I mean, for the prices that these pedals are at, it's a steal. It's a steal. It's a steal. Yeah. I mean, it's you compare steal. them. Uh, we we did a lot. We did the entire Boss uh, drive yeah. in shootout. The TC. By the way, TC is owned by Behringer, and yes. a lot of the components and the you know the parts yes. are made by Behringer, of course. Of course. You know, so yeah, I mean, all in all, I'm happy to I'm happy, say yeah. that if you are a beginner and you are looking to start a pedal collection, mm -hmm. look at Behringer. Yeah, but one thing I would love to say, uh, Behringer, to Behringer is, guys, this is a really bad idea. What? Having your power, oh, yes, having definitely. The power and the uh, uh, input. Uh, yeah, I mean. Uh, it's a really bad idea. We had, we had those uh, L-shaped cables. Yeah, even if you have the straightened cables, straight because cables, no yeah. pedal board is going to use straightened cables, right? Yeah. Unless you're sticking it right next to each other, like, yeah. like so. Yeah. I don't think you're going to use straightened cables. I, I think, uh, uh, you know, power at the top is a better idea. Yeah, or power so. at the bottom also is a great idea. But <laughs> like, this is a really bad idea. And the thing is, the distances in each yeah, of it's it too is close. not... It's too close yeah, to it's the... Yeah, it's not the same. The so if you can drag. hold up another pedal... Yeah. And look at that! If you see the distances, like of the power of the power here, look at yeah. the distance there. There is no. And way there is yeah. So there's yeah. no way that it's going to connect. Like, and it's mm. this is going to be a problem. So. So I mean, on that change, note, if you could change that up, that would be useful for getting yeah. your pedals on more pedal boards. Yeah. But all in all, um, I think Beautiful sounding kudos pedals. to Behringer for yeah, bringing impressed. this change out. Impressed. Hope you enjoyed that episode. Make sure you click the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. If you want to support me in making such videos, know that YouTube doesn't pay me much money. But we need some money for editing, shooting and for getting new gear and goodies. Now in order to get some goodies, we're going to need some patrons. And where can you become a patron? You can become a patron on my Patreon link which is in the card above. Go there and support this channel. If you want to support me even further, make sure you follow me on social media. Your likes, your clicks and your comments all help. Make sure you follow me, SSJ Productions and Guitar Gear Gyan on social media. Links are in the description below. And above all else. Stay safe and wash your hands.